heaviest punch of this round. And actually, it was a better punch he landed than the one that he knocked him down with. That's what Tim needs to do more of. Nice, nice right hand that time by Timmy. Got him good. He's in trouble. And he goes down. And I think he may have stopped the fight. He has stopped the fight. It's all over. This guy's out on his feet. For the first time, the Austin team can... round seven of his nine in three rounds or less he reached the tenth only once a stoppage in that round so we'll see In the second round, Andrian Kaspari fought quite aggressively. Austin's team is more waiting to release the blow. Third round, at 77 seconds of the end of the round, a beautiful counter shot combination from the Austin team, knocked out Andre and Kaspari. Kaspari was able to get up, with a shaky state, the referee finally stopped the fight. The first defeat, for Andrian Kaspari.
the proud struggle of Indonesian boxers, could make the Indonesian flag fly in Las Vegas, even though they had to suffer defeat. In 2003, in February, the Austin team who is still undefeated and still holds the IBF belt in the bantamweight, got a fierce opponent, the king in the Mexico region, Rafael Marquez. Both fighters hit hard, and have very high KO ratios. Saturday, February 15, 2003, Caesar Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, the fight began. The second and fourth rounds Marquez rose to win points. Hey, back up. Cincinnati kids don't always be tough hombres. Marquez has been more defensive early on than we might have expected him to be. Jimmy Austin. Absolutely. Round five, six and seven, Austin got back up and led the fight. Austin team, leading far in points, until in the seventh round. Austin really managed to show as a better fighter than the overall points count. The 8th round, a scuffle of buying and selling hard punches occurred in the middle of the 8th round, a hard blow from Marquez, making Austin sway, followed by an onslaught of combined punches that made Austin finally fall out of the ring. Austin was able to get up, completing the count from the referee. When the fight resumed, the onslaught of punches from Rafael Marquez, finally forced the referee to stop the fight. First loss, to the best boxer in the American bantamweight division, Team Austin. After this defeat Austin no longer fought for two years, in 2006, finally, the Austin team decided to retire, after losing by KO by Eric Aiken. Greetings, sports. Always, keep sportsmanship. Greetings and greetings, from Boxing 2022.